Eyes on me, brothers! I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers, a savage and nothing. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Forget about traveling light. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up!
I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Osram would invent a gadget to do this. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Dervil. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Dervil? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see... I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. 
Ha ha. It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a Thunderjaw lure in your bed. Gotta admit, it burns me that a savage knocked me down. Most Nora get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn. Stay alert. That's what I say. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right.
the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Take a look around the room. Defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Rockets are really close. Anthem will be on point. Hurrah! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. Third battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch away. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s.
Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear. What was this place? The more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had. In the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. The furnishings were... metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. Red light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. A holographic interface. It must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Oh, that's informative.
free power lines, resources. That makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poem free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy That's expectations. Should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons.
thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business, I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrews and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting. But when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. that during eclipses the shadow cast on the moon is curved so our world is a globe and it looks like this from a distance we'll discuss this another time back to the matter at hand the faro robots were spreading across the world eating everything up somehow elizabeth stopped them before it was too late but how
Need them soon enough. They can wake it, do they? Watch out!
of those all at once. No space. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder! Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but. Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor. 
I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Hey, Lord. you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find hand holes leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. 
Well, they still have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the Focus Network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy one, then? The back way in. I didn't say it would be easy. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. now. Head for that ridge.
tall legs just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You've got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, you choose. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Our machine's pulse of power radiating the anger of the shack. Pain of our labor birth a new reign, a righteous one. Helis was around. What's he been up to? That better not be one of ours. Someone just killed one of us. They're fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body stretched beside mine. 
sensing chisels from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birth, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than Sun and Faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered, cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever, the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates.